Yo! Another funny poll thing happened. Another one. We had these characters killing the votings, but the common strike again. Fellas really made a good case for the last place contender, so here's a Frieza optimal combos guide where we look at his best practical universal combos, unskilled and skilled from his common hits. He has a ton of specific sauce and room for creativity, especially with assists, but these need to be your foundation to maximize Frieza. Since he has so much, I'll keep this one to base form only. If y'all want a golden Frieza edition, then hit that like button and let me know. Mid screen he has 3 main routes, a region one where unskilled can look like this for 4.7k damage and 1.6 bars. It's nice to preserve your super dash since you have this super dash extension. You just need to delay the first super dash and you can hold that button after landing 5L for a super jump to make it easier. However, skill doesn't end with knockdown unless you sacrifice a lot of damage. And this round isn't the easiest rejump, so a slightly easier optimal looks like this with his M auto combo, holding S into jump JM for similar damage. Although you do lose some corner carry and a meter, skilled can look like this for 4k damage, but JM is easier to link. And finally, the super practical 5h key blast into 1s route that helps with meter build and corner carry for less damage at 4.3k, 1.4 bars. Skill does the same and delaying the 5s makes it more consistent. If you reach the corner with any of these, change his ender with 3js into j2h for more damage as long as it's not too long. Another note, if you get really close to the corner after his rejump, you can js super dash instead of j2s. But again, skill is more limited, still giving 3.9k. His max damage route uses his vanish extensions that we'll cover later, leading to 5.8k damage where you have to super or use an assist. Shout out to KJ Pixel 14 for this one. If you get a stray hit like an air to air, it's just his regular combo follow ups. And super dash confirm is similar with less hits. And again, if you reach the corner, JS up. Mid screen dragon rush is the same. and mid screen 2h adds this 3s to optimize it more but these change in the corner. Here is the 2h corner extension for 5.3a damage by delaying the 3s and holding down after the orb to fast fall. Just need to time the falling jm and continue from there. A more optimal but harder version is this one by word say less that uses a super jump single hit of jm into another orb and continuing. From Dragon Rush you have a shorter extension, easy but just need to time the JLL after the fast fall or by the end finishing with a JSJ2H. Now back to some more mid screen stuff with his Vanish confirm, after Key Blast confirm it with a 236M and dash into the follow ups after the Vanish. And this is his optimal Vanish combo which works from anything even EX Slash as well. But he has other confirms, 2s goes into his 2h route. Or into delayed 5m depending on spacing. Which is cool to extend with assist especially if it's from a pressure strain you labbed and you know the spacing is perfect so you can continue this combo. 2 and 4s can be confirmed with a few key blasts into the previous 2s route. Which is also a good pattern that works on block as well to get an advantage, so you can play around with that as an option select too. 236S can be confirmed immediately as well, like after 5H using his key blast. But the fast version is harder to confirm and you know it's not always a guaranteed hit, so this route is only if you're super woke for it and if you're like punishing key blast or something. Now for his vanish extensions, on any hit, do J236S and wait until it hits the wall at the end to vanish, which always places you close to the ground and then go into a smaller vanish route depending on how long the combo was. So with this you get more damage on super dashes, 2Hs, etc.
At long combos, you can't get slight knockdown, so you need to go into super. And after really long ones, you'd extend like this for a super. Sometimes you can add a slash after the auto combo. Now it's time for the corner. Unskilled can look like this for 5.6k with all these extra key blasts, but less consistent at the end. The first 2M needs to be delayed, and the rest is pressed after the disc comes or goes away, with a slight delay on the last key blast. If you get that first timing right, everything else hits a lot easier. One key blast gives you 5.4k with two bars if you end off with that, but is the most consistent. But there's a bunch of things that can go wrong with these loops like getting a 2-2s input if you rush, whiffing 2ms, and more. Scaled loops is the same route leaving you with 4.4k and 2.2 bars. And again, the key blast amounts can vary, so be careful, but this is still pretty hard. So, here's a practical version unskilled for slightly less damage. You need a delay on this 1S and a 5H for it to link. Skilled version looks like this for 4.2k and 1.7 bars. Or just an even weaker route like this with just one loop into whatever since it has no tricky timings if you can't learn the other ways. You can also get into any of these corner combos from his corner 2S, even the max damage route. So here's the max damage route credit to KJ Pixel. You need to delay the first 1S and then do everything as fast as possible until the discs come back. Then delay 2M a lot and then the 5M where you can match the 5S. And the 2-2S vanish part at the end, well, pray you get it right. He also has a ton more corner routes but they just aren't universal. Before we go into TODs, here's a mid-screen spiking loop. The micro dash after the first ID jam before the 2M is needed to continue it. But it can be confusing with all these single hits and jump cancels. This is how the full version can look like solo for a combo with sliding knockdown. And this is needed for a 2H1 bar TOD with assist. Shout out to Nobi for these clips. Usually you'd go into golden, but you need 3 bars for that, right? So here's just when you don't have that golden opportunity ready, but still want to kill. And here's a mid-screen 5 MTOD with 1 bar that's a lot easier with both assists. So this one is great for punishes. Although these change slightly depending on what assist you have. And finally, a pretty hard solo freeze to TOD in the corner as I usually try to include in these videos when you're alone. This one looks like it's a 3 bar starter TOD and credits to Nomo 3927 for this clip and he might have gotten from Xiao, the combo goat. Not sure about that. Golden has a ton more and is way more optimal, but we'll save that for next time, hopefully. But some tips for this, you need to delay the first 1S into this. Get the perfect height with 236S and time a falling JM into 5S. Then jump backwards with a JLM. Good luck. Not sure if it's even universal, by the way, but it does look pretty sick. Before we end, I just want to give a special shout out to No B for helping me with the entire video. Feel free to show this Frieza Master some love on his Twitter. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.